We're having shots of milk. Doing shooters. Yeah, it's that kind of day. Don't be dilly now. What's up guys? Welcome to another video. This is Live Life Lori. This is my hubby Trevor. He's going to participate in a plant milk taste test. Thanks babe. No problem. Glad to be here. So he is not a vegan, so this is perfect person to try different plant milks and he, he is a fan of regular dairy milk, so this way he gets to try something new and see what he thinks of it. So we actually have three milks today. So the first one is this one, cashew milk. And I've actually never tried this one, so I'm kind of excited to try it. It's creamy. And then this is hemp, this I, yeah, creamy. I uh, buy this one all the time. This is one of my favorite hemp milk. I don't know why, I just, I really like it, so it's already open. And then this one, I don't think I've tried this. I, I know I wanted to, but I'm not sure if I did. But this is pea protein, P-E-A, before you think it's something else. <laughs> it's called Ripple. It's actually very popular now. It's, it's everywhere. It's soy-free, nut-free, vegan, gluten-free, and lactose-free. And so if you notice, I have two of them that are non-nuts because my son's allergic to nuts. So... <laughs> <laughs> So I wanted to show, because a lot of times people are like, oh, I would love to switch my milk, but I'm allergic to nuts. Well, almond milk is not the only one in town, and neither is soy, because I try to stay away from soy, but that, that's why only one of them is um, nuts. This is cashew, and then these ones, nothing to do with nuts. So there's tons of options. And actually, there's other milks, too, that I was going to get, but then I didn't want to have like six or seven open plant milks in the fridge, because how much can I really drink? Because um, there's uh, rice milk, and then there's the almond milk, obviously, soy milk. But there's hazelnut milk I've seen, so all kinds of stuff. So let's start with the um, let's start with one that I haven't tried before. Ripple. Incidentally, I have to say, since I met my wife, I've tried a lot of different things, and they, she's changed my my palate quite a bit. Thanks, babe. He's such a good guinea pig. He's very open. Oh, I'm a guinea pig. All right. Oh yeah. <laughs> But you're open-minded, right? That's the thing. You're here and yes. you're open-minded. Yes. You're going to try it. And when I do cook stuff, like when I make uh, scalloped potatoes and stuff, I do use some of these plant milks anyway, unbeknownst to you. but <laughs> You've been pulling the wool over my eyes all these years. I know, right? Wow. So I want to show you these cute little glasses. We're actually <laughs> we're having shots of milk. Doing shooters. Yeah, it's that kind of day. Don't be dilly now. It's so Saturday. I'm going to try to pour it so you guys can see the color too because sometimes, yeah, this one is a little bit um, not pure white. Sometimes, especially the almond milk I find is not perfectly white. So here, I'll do that and then I'll get myself. I have this cute little mason jar. How oh, adorbs. Little things make me happy. I know. It's precious. <laughs> Cheers. Bottoms up. up. It's definitely thick. It's thick, it's got a real cream taste to it. Yeah. Um, but there is something, right, that you taste, I don't know. I, I can almost taste the pea in it. And he doesn't like peas, <laughs> so I, maybe I shouldn't have told you that. But it's not green. No, like, it's not green. Yeah. And I'm not saying it's a horrible taste. Right. It is a, it is a, a nice taste. Uh, you have that nice and cold. Yeah. You could put that on your cereal, you could put that on anything, really. Yeah, for sure. I'm just wondering what else is in there, because there, it's more of like a starchy taste. I don't know if that's what you taste, like um, like a powdery taste maybe, which is kind, maybe the yeah. protein. It kind of, yeah. The first ingredient's water, and then pea protein, organic sugar. Oh, so there's sugar in here. Sunflower oil. Who would have thought to put oil in plant milk? Algae oil, and then some other stuff. Dipotassium, phosphate, sunflower lecithin, flavor. I don't know what the flavor is. I know flavor. Sea Be salt. Afraid. Organic guar gum, which is I think one of the thickeners, and uh, gelin gum. It's got a real taste to it, almost like a, a protein shake. Yeah, but it's, uh, yeah, it's not bad. It's our first one, so you know it's still. I would I would definitely buy it again, but I mean I do prefer my hemp milk, so we'll try that last because I feel like that's the best one. Okay, so we're good to try another one. So we're gonna try a different glass. That way there's no contamination. No so residual. I can, yeah, I got my cute little wine glass. We're so fancy. Notice none of them match. Yeah, that's how I roll. All right, so let's see. Oh, this one does look like it might not be pure white either. Whoa, there you go. Almost looks like it would go good with Bailey's. That's actually what it does look like. Yeah. 
Okay, cheers, babe. Oh, that definitely tastes like nuts. Yeah, it does definitely has a, a nutty taste to it. Yeah, but I kind of like this one better than the other one, actually. What about you? Yeah, that's a, I'm not a fan of peas. Right. Um, you probably should have blocked that out for me, but I, I said it was it, it was good. Both are good. Uh, the uh, almond milk, like uh, cashew. again, or cashew milk, yep. I'm sorry. Uh, it does have a real taste to it. Yeah, again, you could use it in your cereal. You could use it in your your whatever you're going to make, right? If you put it in your coffee, it would have a bit of a cashew taste to it. Um, yeah, some people like, yeah. uh, I like hazelnut coffee, so. Yeah, some people like the taste of nuts. Yeah. I just wanted to uh, check the calories. This one is, so it's 240 mils. Let me just compare the calories if it's about the same. One cup, yeah, close enough. This is 90 calories, and this one is 60. Okay, so about the same. And then there's actually sodium, which is so weird. All these things are in our milk, but anyways. All right, so get a new glass. Our last one, I got my little Lori's bar, which is funny, I'm serving milk. That's, you know, I'm old when. I guess I'm going to Vegas. Nice. Okay, shots, fill her up. Oh, Hit I me. wanted to pour this one because look at the color. This is why it's my favorite. Look at how white that is. That's the whitest one. Maybe I should have poured all three at the same time to show, but this is one of my favorite. And it's actually, doesn't look as thick as the other ones mm -hmm. so far, right? When I poured it, because the other ones you can kind of see, it's almost like an eggnog where there's a lot left at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Mm. I don't think I've ever had it on its own. I'm not <laughs> as much of a fan of that. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. I I, uh, I found it very thin. Yeah. Very. Uh, um, it didn't have that creamy taste to it like the other two. Uh, if you like a creamy milk. Um, That's true. This one actually does have a different taste too. I actually have, like I said, I'm not, I don't normally drink milk on its own. I'm always putting it in baking or you know a smoothie or something. So I do. Now that I've had the three, this isn't my favorite alone, but it is white and not that that really matters, but the other one is no. like a different color. Okay, so if you had to pick which one out of these three, even if you might not super enjoy them, but if you had to pick one, what would be your favorite, Trevor? These three. If I had to pick a favorite you're baking with or whatever, um, I would probably go with the, the, the creamy cashew milk. Yeah, with this one? Yes, yes. I don't know, I think mine's kind of a toss up, which is funny because I said this was my favorite, but it's just maybe because it's the word hemp and because it's um, it doesn't have to be in the fridge, that's the other thing. This is the only one that I bought off the shelf. So I usually buy them when they're on sale. I stock up in the pantry and then I have them. So that's kind of why I do like it. But if I had to choose these two, yeah, probably the, the creamy cashew because I do like hazelnut coffee and I do like, you know, nutty treats or like, you know, peanut butter cups or anything like that. So it's definitely has that nuttiness to it. But this one is also good too, but I usually go with whatever's on sale, personally. And then also the least amount of ingredients, that's the other thing, is like, you know, actually this one has that guar gum too, and this is the one that has it, and then... Guar gum? Yeah, I don't even know what that is. Gelin gum. Like delicious. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> so anyways, thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I do encourage you to try different items, even if you're not vegan, like this guy, but thanks for participating. Have an open mind, guys. That's right, and there's so many plant-based options, and especially when they are on sale, just try a bunch of them and just have fun, and sneak it into your baking and your cooking, and you never know, you might enjoy it. Okay, well until next time, live your life with kindness for all living beings. Bye. Bye.